All right, Great Craig Jackson just ball. hopped out of that pacer. What kind of auction is this if we can't have a little fun, right? Absolutely. Wayne's World, 25th anniversary, selling the car again. What a moment. Craig, we're not worthy. I hear you. We're not worthy. We didn't have our mullets on. <laughs> Party on, Garth. Well, and like they say, it is pacer time. Wayne's World, the 1976 pacer that was actually used in the movie is up on the block. I'm not sure this is what Freddie Mercury was thinking about when he wrote Bohemian Rhapsody, but it's what we connect to it. This car sold at a Barrett au Jackson auction a couple of years ago, and Craig and I had fun hopping into it and using the Twizzler dispenser that's up there in the headliner and just rocking out. I mean, what a great piece of whimsy. What a great piece of fun. Kind of makes you forget that in its second full year, the Pacer was American Motors' best-selling car line. It was very advanced for its day. I mean, it was really thought of as a safety vehicle. It was so wide. It had that the tires that were at the front and the rear, a big track. But it just, while it may have been the top seller for AMC, it just didn't have enough to keep everybody going. In many ways, it was ahead of its time. Well, they marketed this as America's first wide, small car. And there was both the sedan, which is this version, and a station wagon version. Uh, the interior, pretty nicely appointed for the time. Uh, you know, cup dispenser, there is the Queen CD, and the all-important Twizzler dispenser in the headliner. You know, one detail is the passenger side door on these is longer than the driver's side door, literally by about two inches. And these actually were initially designed to accept a rotary engine. And if you ever open the engine band one of these, they're really wide. The uh, American Motors patents people worked out with Wankel. It never came to pass, but a Wankel was originally intended. Well, what does it take to relive your Wayne's World memory to say you're not worthy and head bop to the Bohemian Rhapsody? How about $65,000 for a 1976 American Motors Pacer, the one that they used in Wayne's World?